Greetings, one and all two universes. In this show, we will analyze the stats, weapons, and abilities of two fighters to see who would win in a battle to the death. Many people have predicted the outcome, so let's see who guessed right and who guessed wrong. And be sure to stay tuned after the episode so you can see the next fighters and make your predictions down in the comment section below or in a video response. And who knows, your comment or video response could be featured in the very next episode. With all that said, let's meet our two fighters. We have Ermac, the newest creation of Shao Kahn and Tatsumaki, the Tornado of Terror. I can barely use my mental capacity to do basic schoolwork, but these two take it to the next level. Telekinesis is their speciality, so let's find out which one of these psycho psychics would win in a battle to the death. This is Universes. Ermac is quite a mysterious fighter. I mean, I don't even know how to describe him. I mean, he's not a zombie, because those are like actual people, just undead. He's not a Frankenstein person or anything, because he's not made out of human leftovers. I mean, what would you call a horrifying fusion of souls from deceased outworld warriors? Because that's exactly what Ermac is. He was created by Shao Kahn himself as his own personal warrior with the task of helping him invade Earthrealm. However, Shao Kahn ran into a bit of trouble and was defeated, leaving Ermac to wander around Earthrealm without any instructions or orders. <laughs> no, look at that. Now he's not just a fusion of dead souls, he's a fusion of lost souls too. Anyways, Ermac eventually met a blind swordsman by the name of Kenshi who helped him escape Khan's control. Now completely free to make choices, Ermac decided to set out on a path to create his own destiny. Ermac is quite skilled in hand-to-hand -hand martial arts, but also carries an axe with him just in case. He can deliver uppercuts powerful enough to launch his opponents in the air, he can teleport, and he can even throw fireballs. He can even fire green projectiles called the air blast. These are created using his most iconic ability, his telekinesis. With these magic powers, Ermac is able to enhance his fighting styles with a unique use of them. He's able to use telekinesis on himself in order to levitate, or he can even use it on his foes to suspend them in the air. He'll even slam them back down on the ground as hard as he can in order to smash his opponents to pieces. With his We Are Many technique, Ermac is even able to slam himself down on his opponent as hard as he can to crack their skull, snap their neck, or even break their jaw. He can force push foes backwards in order to launch them far away. Way. He can fly above enemies before slamming down on them hard enough to create shockwaves. And with the soul charge, he can even fly fists first towards his enemies at blinding speeds. In fact, Ermac can do this so hard that it casually shatters a human skeleton, practically exploding them. He's strong enough to snap necks, tear out spines, rip foes completely in half, and it gets even worse with his telekinesis. With his telekinesis, he can even bend and tear the limbs and bones of his enemies to twist them into horrifying positions. He can snap their bones and twist their insides out of place. And when I say out of place, I mean... Really out of place. As in, sucking their guts entirely from their body out of place. <coughs> With his telekinetic strength, he can obviously lift the weight of humans, but also gigantic stones. Judging by the size of material, each of these must weigh at least 15 tons, and Ermac lifted four of them. Which means at the most, his telekinetic strength can lift up to 60 tons. Ermac is also capable of taking on some other extremely skilled fighters like Jax, Johnny Cage, Sonya Blade, and more. So he should at least be able to scale to them speed-wise, giving him supersonic reactions. Chopping logs, solid gold, or even entire human bodies in half is child's play for this guy. But let's see if his opponent, Tatsumaki, has a more immovable mentality. Boy, oh boy, a hot-tempered lolly. She must be your favorite, you filthy weebs. Well, joke's on you, she's almost 30 years old. She's probably older than you. <laughs> Anyways, despite her poor attitude, Tatsumaki is actually meant to be a hero. At a very young age, she was saved by the legendary Blast. However, after being rescued, she was given this advice. When the time comes, don't expect someone to come save you. Well, Tatsumaki took that advice to heart. A bit too much to heart, as it led her to fend for herself and distance herself from others. All but her sister. 
Mr. Fubuki and Blast himself. After learning how to fight for herself, Tatsumaki and Blast both join the Hero Association, becoming their two best heroes at the top of the S class. However, one day Blast mysteriously disappeared, leaving Tatsumaki alone once again to fight for herself this time shutting out everyone. Tatsumaki may not be well trained in hand-to-hand -hand combat, but she's extremely skilled in her ability to use telekinesis. She's able to casually fly across cities and other long distances with ease and can toss around and throw her opponents. With her powers, she can lift objects as well. She can make them float around her to toss out opponents or even spin them around in a powerful vortex for mass destruction. She is able to use chi and aura manipulation to get other living beings to do her bidding. However, those with extremely strong wills can resist. For example, the most it did to Saitama was make his muscles twitch. She can surround herself in a telekinetic barrier in order to protect herself or even create a psychic whirlwind in order to deflect other telekinetic attacks. She also has an ability called Psychic Binding which allows her to suppress the abilities of other ESP users. Hence why she's fighting Ermac instead of Mob or Silver comment section. Since Tatsumaki's foe Ermac is more magic than psychic, it most likely wouldn't affect him. Still a pretty cool power though. So we know she can do a lot with her telekinesis, but how much can she do? Well for one, she was able to one-shot the Ancient King by summoning a meteor from space. She was able to use rubble from the destroyed City A to do heavy damage to Lord Boros' gigantic ship. And she was able to catch hundreds of giant bombs at once. She was even strong enough to knock Saitama off of his feet, something the Sea King wasn't even able to do. And while she uses her psychic barriers for shielding, she's still pretty durable without it as she survived being completely crushed in a ball of rubble by her sister Fubuki. The Hero Association also has Tatsumaki ranked at being faster than Genos but slower than Atomic Samurai, putting her speeds roughly at Mach 3000. Tatsumaki has faced all kinds of deadly monsters at different danger levels. There's a reason she's ranked so high in the Association. But I wonder if all of her hero training has prepared her for some mortal combat combat with Ermac. Let's take a look at your predictions while I calculate the results. Corn will keep her, folks. Now, I know I did this last time with Kirby vs. Pops, but I did, you know, review this prediction on Ermac versus you know, Tatsumaki I do feel like some of you might think that uh, you know I was a little biased but that's not the case because I didn't say a lot for Ermac I really didn't say a lot for either one but I'm here on this one to tell you know say a little more go a little more in detail for all you badasses and then as before I'm not gonna do this all the time where I make two predictions I'm gonna try to get the first one right from now on but if you like this one more, give it a give it a thumbs up. But yeah, so Ermac, obviously he can levitate in the Mortal Kombat games. He's obviously an efficient hand-to-hand -hand combatant. He has like m magic, mystical-based, you know, a t power, so to speak, magic-based telepathy or whatever, telekinesis. Um, he's a very I was right. He is a very secretive character though he's a very secretive character in his own right um, he's awesome I mean he's probably he's probably as far as physical physicality he's most likely on par with Scorpion guys like that from Mortal Kombat now we move on down to Tatsumaki I'm still going with Tatsumaki for you know folks for the simple fact I'm sticking with her incredible mind her power like she is legitimately the second strongest S rank hero. That is her title for a reason. She outclasses flashy freaking Flash, folks. And like I said in my other prediction, she actually did crush some kind of giant. You know, it was in the manga, but she crushed some kind of giant octopus type monster. And Flashy Flash couldn't even take this thing down. And this woman just come along and basically crushed it with her mind. Her freaking mind. Crushed, you know. And she is fast in her own right. And I mean, I'm not saying she's fat, you know, faster than Flashy, flashy Flash. Or she's not even on par with him, for that matter. But she's fast in her own right. And she's a powerhouse, folks. So, Ermac is going to put up a good fight. I think he'll give her a run at first, 
I think all together Tatsumaki is going to end him. She's going to end the fight. I'm going with Tatsumaki, folks. Let me know what you think down below. Let's always have a blessed day. Let me know what you think down below. Let's always have a blessed day. Shout out to Leopold the Brave. Cornell Keith out. Peace. Hey, guys. Dr. Baconator here. And today I'll be discussing who I think will win the Next Universe episode. Ermac from Mortal Kombat versus Tornado from One Punch Man. So I think Tornado will win because she has the power of telekinesis, which she can move stuff with her hands and mind. But I really never played as Ermac from Mortal Kombat. I never played as him, so I really don't know what he does. But tell me in the comments who you think will win, Ermac or Tornado. So if you like this video, comment, like, and subscribe to see more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. And the results are in. The winner is... Tatsumaki. Sheesh, I can hear the weeb squealing already. Great. Just great. First Mortal Kombat doesn't make it to EVO this year, and now this. Ugh, <sighs> how could it get any worse? Oh well. Let's take a look into it, I guess. That is what the show's about, after all. Both Ermac and Tatsumaki are very skilled in telekinesis, but Tatsumaki takes it to a whole new level. Ermac could lift at least 60 tons with his telekinesis, but Tatsumaki could lift all the rubble from City A, which included broken parts of the street and buildings. The average building can weigh up to hundreds of thousands of tons, and Tatsumaki can lift several of these, putting her way out of Ermac's league in telekinetic strength. Ermac may be able to edge out in physical strength due to Tatsumaki relying solely on telekinesis, but that's still not enough. Ermac can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the toughest fighters in his universe, but not even they have shown the capabilities to match up with the heroes in the association that Tatsumaki Tatsumaki outranks. Not to mention Tatsumaki is way faster as well. Being snug between Genos and Atomic Samurai and speed stats of up to Mach 3000, she absolutely blitzes Ermac's supersonic speeds. Now Ermac does have some durability ignoring attacks that you may be wondering about. Like how Ermac can straight up pull your guts out of your body with telekinesis. The problem with that is that Tatsumaki has a psychic whirlwind specifically for deflecting other telekinetic attacks. Not to mention Tatsumaki can easily free herself from Ermac's telekinetic grip with her own telekinesis. Ermac relies on his arms to perform his telekinesis while Tatsumaki does not. She'd be able to easily escape if Ermac tried holding her down, but Ermac couldn't do the same if she was holding him down. Tatsumaki would be able to play keep away as well as her telekinesis can reach things from outer space while the most we've seen from Ermac is reaching a couple meters. And while Ermac may be completely immune to Tatsumaki's ability to suppress other telekinetic powers, he doesn't have anything to suppress hers either. While he may appear to be physically stronger and better in hand-to-hand -hand combat, there's no way he'd be able to get her down to his area. With Tatsumaki's edge and telekinetic strength, speed and range, and the ability to counter some of Ermac's moves while Ermac doesn't have a counter for hers, Ermac will be forced to telekinetically hold on to this loss. The winner is Tatsumaki. Get ready for the next battle. Oh, here comes a new challenger. Knock knock his knuckles. 